the the idea of making the film festival actually it began with boredom because uh, David Chapman and I were uh, we had just finished a, a school project something for a film media arts class I had helped him film a short documentary on our old high school band and we were thinking because we, we both knew we were film media arts majors uh, and we were wondering like where could we show that where could we get some more recognition of the the work we put in on his project and um, I forget which one of us brought it up but someone brought up a film festival we're like we don't we don't have one of those so the only other option would be to send it to an online one or make one and the only reason that making one came up as an option was uh, Bruce Parsons who uh, he, he runs the holler it's a technological nonprofit organization and he told me once basically the reason he started his company was because there wasn't anything like it and he thought he could so following that idea David and I approached him and said we want to do a film fest and he said go for it so we began planning it and it first began it began as a as a complicated like week-long affair that we were so more we were confident that we could get like days of content that would be watchable and we were confident that we could get like screening spaces we started really grand and he, he brought us back down to reality and said, give me a, give me a two-day version and we'll see what we can do. And around that time, uh, Professor Andrew Reed had just uh, started at the university. And when we brought the idea up to him, he said he'd actually wanted to do it too. But he didn't have enough time being a, a first-year uh, first professor. So between the three of us, we got it going. We talked to PR, we talked to student services, we talked to the humanities department. And Hugh Pike... Uh, they gave us enough support, and we, we got it going. First year was really rough, though. Come on, David. Shame David. <laughs> in the beginning, it was incredibly hectic, just because I was thrown in, and I had to do all these like video organizings and just putting stuff together but it ended up being one of the greatest learning experiences that I could have ever had, and I can't wait to help out in the future. I think uh, the film festival really helps the region because art isn't really portrayed around here very well. Like usually you just see, like, you know, walk, where you walk around Pikeville and you don't see like, you know, artsy places or anything. You see a lawyer here and there. But, you know, a film, something like this, it's something for the community to come out and just watch films made locally. And it's just, it's good for the students, good for everyone around us, because it doesn't just like inspire like people who made films here, seeing an audience watching their films. It also inspires people who would never thought this would be a thing to do. So I think this is like just something great for anyone to come out and watch and get inspired and make their own. And who knows, maybe someone sitting in the audience will end up making a film next year and it's gonna who, beat Steven Spielberg out. Having your film shown at a festival is an interesting feeling because where I've seen it so many times from having to work on it, it got to the point where I was just thinking, oh, this is nothing special. No one, no one really cares about that. And then having people actually you know, be there and watch it in person is, it's a different feeling because you're wondering what they're thinking. And then you have people's, you can hear people's reactions. And when it's positive, it's just, it's a great feeling overall. I thought as a whole the film festival went over great and like I said before it was a great learning experience to just kind of get behind the wheel and drive. I look forward to doing anything with it in the future. Come on out to FMA Fest today, we're never going to give you up.